In this video, we'll balance the equation CuSO4 plus NaOH. This is copper 2 sulfate plus sodium hydroxide. So let's count the atoms up, and we'll actually use a bit of a trick here to help us balance this equation. So we have one copper, and then this SO4 is called the sulfate ion. We have it here, and then there's sulfate over here. So we're just going to count the whole thing as one item, and that's going to make balancing a lot easier. We have one sodium. And then again, we have this OH, it's called the hydroxide ion. We have a hydroxide here, it stays together, the hydroxide's also in the products. We're gonna say we have one hydroxide ion, just put a one there. So this is very neat, just ones. On the product side, we have one copper, the sulfate, we have one sulfate ion, two sodium atoms, and then one hydroxide times two. So we have two hydroxides. So if you look at these numbers, you can see right away we just need to double the sodium and the hydroxide, and this equation will be balanced. And to do that, we put a coefficient of two in front of the NaOH. One times two, that gives us two, the hydroxide, one hydroxide times two. We have two of those, and we're done. This equation, it's balanced. So either way, you're gonna get the same answer, but by considering these polyatomic ions as one thing, if they appear on both sides, it's a lot easier and you're a lot less prone to make errors. This is Dr. B, the balanced equation for CuSO4 plus NaOH, copper 2 sulfate plus sodium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.